In this episode of Puzzle Time, we have puzzles from Fortunate Sun Puzzles. That's James Fortune who 3D prints these burr puzzles. And this one's called Detonator. Check it out in this episode of Puzzle Time in three, two, one. Welcome to episode 120 of Puzzle Time. In this episode, we are talking about puzzles from Fortunate Sun Puzzles. That's James Fortune. They're 3D printed burr puzzles. We are excited about them. But before we get into that, let's talk about this contest, Linnea, that we've been running. It's a contest on this site called Up Viral, and you can win uh, puzzles from Puzzle Master here. We've got the Iron Maiden, the Quad L, the uh, Tower of Hanoi, Hanoi Pyraminx, and the Pioneer Pyramid. Uh, you can win them on the site. Go there, enter your contact information, and then share the link. And if uh, people come and enter the contest because you shared the link, you will get extra entries. So there you go. The contest ends today, which is uh, March 31st, 2022. So uh, go enter, because the contest will be closed at midnight Central Standard Time today. Uh, the draw will be done April 2nd, and uh, you can win one, two, three, four, or all five of these puzzles by entering that draw. Okay, let's get into today's puzzles, and we're going to start with the uh, traffic light one, because I like the uh, like the visual of this puzzle. Again, these are from Fortunate Sun Puzzles. That's a guy named James Fortune, who I believe is in the United States. And uh, yeah, these are 3D printed burrs. I actually really like these. So this one has eight pieces. So there's the two black, two green, two yellow, and two red. Yeah. The first thing I noticed on it is all the colors on one side can move, but I haven't been able to, without moving any of the black, you can't get any of the opposite side to move. Okay. So those ones are stuck into place until you move more pieces around. So this one's technically called Traffic Light, right? It's the yeah. actual name. It's a level eight on the Puzzle Master difficulty rating scale. Again, our scale runs from five to ten, five being easy, ten being hard. And it is 46 moves to solve this puzzle. Yeah, and I noticed this one where the pieces can't move on this side is the one that moves first. Whereas this black piece, you have to figure out how to get these so to move before you can move it. Uh, you see how mine are moving? You're, you're, your on both aren't... sides? Yeah, on both sides. No? Let's try this again. If it's like an exact, maybe it's just Yeah, you do need it. to get them like exactly in spot. But... So oh, with there that... you go. Now it's moving. With burr puzzles, uh, like I said, this is 46 moves to solve. The burr puzzles break it down into um, the amount of moves to get each piece out. So it exp expresses that as a decimal place. So it's 12, 0 0.2, 0 0.14, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 10, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Which means it's 12 moves to get the first piece out, 2 moves to get the next piece out, 14 moves to get the next piece out, and so on and so forth. So it's, uh, yeah, 46 moves and then that, all those decimal places. I got one to move there. Oh, nice. I just had nice. the one red piece forward and then that moved. Yeah. So one thing we did notice on this is that um, the black pieces are a little stiffer than all the other pieces. Like the, the green, yellow, and red all kind of move pretty easily. The, red, the black ones are a little stiffer and harder to move. I don't know why that is. But I, I like the movement on it. I like the, I just, I love the visual of this and that. I, I appreciate when in burr puzzles, uh, and, and any puzzles for that matter, but they can kind of take the blocky representations of these puzzles and turn them into something that is real to life, like real life. Like this looks like a traffic light, traffic signal, right? So I like that. I appreciate that. And I think James Fortune does that with a bunch of these puzzles that we're going to be showing you today. He does have a whole collection of stuff that came in here at Puzzle Master on our website, puzzlemaster.ca. We're going to show you three of them. Uh, I think there's what there's quite a few. There's like 10, 10 or so different puzzles I thought that came out uh, today or recently here uh, on the Puzzle Master website. So that's traffic signal, traffic light, traffic light, traffic light. Let's move on to the next one. We're going to be doing the, let's do TNT. Uh, we'll talk about this. Okay, TNT. This is actually the one visually 
that caught my eye the most of mm-hmm. any of his puzzles that came in. I thought it was cool. I love the whole like box that explodes and he's got the little handle on top. It's interesting though, because this is actually a nine piece puzzle the way it works out. So there's eight of the burr sticks here. And then there's the handle on top that ends up being that like ninth piece. So this is actually called detonator. Uh, DNT on there, but detonator is the puzzle name. It is, like I said, nine pieces. So eight of the burr sticks and then the, the piece on top here, the, the handle or the, what do you call that? The trigger? I don't know what you'd call that. In a, yeah, in a I, bomb. Don't, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> it's 76 moves to solve this. So significantly harder than the traffic light. Uh, so that 76 moves again is broken down into decimal places. 56 moves to get the first piece out. Seven moves to get the second piece out. Three moves to get the next one out. And then one, two, 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 two. And this is an interesting moves list there because they've got 56 moves, first pieces. Just That's crazy. I mean, that this puzzle has more moves to get the first piece out than the other puzzles do to get all of their pieces out. Crazy. So it's a level 10. Uh, very hard. And again, I think, you know, this, this is a piece up top here and it, it, um, obviously it goes through to the bottom here. Hey, I think this is part of that piece, this, uh, black on the bottom. Yeah. I think it's part of that. Uh, it is. Piece. So it, when you pull it, you can see it slightly moving. Yeah. And it needs, and it needs to enmesh in or interlock with the, the bottom because otherwise you'd be able to probably flex it and move it. Now, again, with. All these burr puzzles, uh, as we've talked about with burr puzzles before on our episode here, or on our show, uh, burr puzzles have a very specific thing that you aren't supposed to spin pieces. It's called rotation, right? So if you took this piece and like, or one of these other ones and, and rotated it, that often is not allowed. And definitely in all of James Fortune's puzzles, from what I can see, that is not allowed to do rotation. Rotation ends up being like a shortcut kind of a, to the solution. So that's uh, TNT. And then, Lene, you can keep playing with those. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show this one off. This is called the elephant, elephant burr or elephant. I think it's just elephant. Yeah. It's part of what they're calling. Yeah, uh, James, I think calls the packy burr series. So it's like pachyderm. So inside of this one is an elephant. Uh, this one is a level ten on the Puzzle Master difficulty rating scale. It's got fifty four moves to solve it, and its moves list again uh, is expressed this way: eighteen moves to get the first piece off. Nine moves to get the next piece off. Four, nine, four, two, one, one, two. So uh, yeah, again, this one's a little more spread out in terms of the moves uh, compared to this one, uh, the the detonator. So elephant is a little a little different that way. It's not as many moves to get the first piece out. But the one other interesting thing when you're doing these, like if you um, look at the uh, like the Burr Tools solution. Uh, it actually often when there's moves happening, you're moving three or four or five pieces sometimes. So you're moving like it's not just like one piece is moving sometimes. There's multiple pieces that need to move coordinatedly, and that's one move. So it's interesting. It's an interesting process on that as, as to how to solve. In in between all of these burr sticks is a little elephant shape. And if you go to our website, puzzlemaster.ca, look it up. We do have pictures on the website of the little elephant inside of here. And I did have it. I did have it at a point there where it was separating. There we go. So you can see right there inside. You know, you can see yeah, right you there. Can see but there's a little, oh boy, this might not show up well on camera. But there is a gray piece right in here. And that is part of the elephant that's inside there. I think his feet are actually upside down. And he's got a trunk that comes out and then points up at the end. And so there's a little gray elephant inside of this one. And actually a lot of the James Fortune puzzles have like some sort of an animal, or I think one of them is ghosts inside of it. Uh, a few of them have different uh, representations of some sort of So a, I wonder if you would have to like put the elephant in and start building around the elephant, or if you start and then add it in at one move. You do. I actually, I've watched the solution. So you, you know, the elephant's like the third piece you kind of put in when you're putting it back together. So it, it goes in pretty early in the yeah. process well, yeah. and then you kind of and, and what ends up happening actually is the pieces kind of form around the elephant and then they start moving and, the, and you eventually connect them into this kind of a shape at the end but they do move around the elephant and interact with it so i'm, I'm actually I'm, I'm not sure if it's one other thing to know uh note on these and i'm not sure what some of the other puzzles but i do know on this elephant uh bird puzzle that there is 30 different solutions to this puzzle so it's not I, all of these are not uh, like one single solution 
or, or way of solving, which is interesting um, because, I mean, maybe you solve it one way and someone else solves it the other way. But yeah, there's there's 30 on this one. I'm not, not sure what it is on the other puzzles, but I don't believe a lot of these have like one special solution. There's different versions of them uh, for sure. So, yeah, that's uh, that's some of the James Fortune puzzles here. The traffic light, the detonator, and the elephant. Uh, so check them out. There's a whole bunch more well-made puzzles. Check them out. James Fortune, Fortunate Son Puzzles on PuzzleMaster.ca. Uh, let's get into the online buzz. The online buzz. Hey, online buzz. What do you want to start with? You start. Talk, talk about dual brain games. I like this one. Okay. So this one I was searching around on YouTube and I actually got inspired by Puzzle Guy's video. He does a video on the puzzle called Nexus 16. Yeah. And so I searched a little bit more into it. It's made by a company called Dual Brain Games. No, we've never seen these guys before. No, right? they have their own YouTube channel and they have their little website that they sell some of their puzzles on. It is a father-son daughter or father, father daughter. daughter combo. Yeah. Right? Which I thought was really cool from the state, I think. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. It looked like it. But yeah, this puzzle is like a square piece, 16 piece puzzle, and it has little different um, connections that you have to be able to form this square and have it all the way, like the edges completely on the outside. And then the connectors will be on the inside. It's just the way that these pieces sit yeah. together. So it's, it's like, how, how many pieces is it? 16? 16. 16, 16 squares. And each one, they have little nubs on the outside. And, those, and they, So it would be a nub or like a an inverse of the nub kind of thing. Right? And they fit yeah. together. And then, yeah, and then you got to yeah make it so that the outside frame is completely nub. Inverse nub yeah, frame. Puzzle Guy says yeah. there's actually quite a bit of logic. He thought it would be a lot of trial and error, but he was wrong, and he actually yeah. there's good good logic to this puzzle. It's cool. It's kind of, it kind of reminded me of the Uesaka stuff a bit. Um, yeah, that's what I first thought. Too. Yeah, it doesn't have the frame that you pack it into like the Uesaka stuff does, but it's it's good. Um, and then this one came in three different uh, styles, right? Yeah, you could get it in light green, dark green, acrylic, or then you can. There's also a wood version. There was a wood, and the wood version wasn't just like I thought. Maybe it would be just like cheap particle board or, or plywood. It was actual wood. Like it was. He yeah. said he selected different grains for each piece, so that yeah, you so that go off of the, the grain, grain the didn't wood. line up. Which I thought that was really, really good. Like to be able to have it so that because yeah, you, if you had the grain and it was all cut out of the same piece of wood, it yeah. make it a little easier. But uh, yeah, so well thought out. I liked them. I actually really enjoyed his channel when I went to the Dual Brain Games like YouTube channel. Sure. Yeah, that he kind of does a lot of different stuff like we do. Like it, a lot I don't know if he necessarily stuff. does shorts, but he does a lot of different puzzles, games, brain teasers, like yeah. all different sort of things. I have a feeling this is one we'll be talking about again. I, I like their stuff um, and it was, it was good. He's very, very clear on his explanations and yeah. stuff like that too. So yes. very easy to follow. Yeah, yeah, I liked it. I, I, I like them. The yeah, they, I, I like the thought of like the acrylic and the wood. I, I think I think he has some sort of a partnership with Creative Craft House. Yeah. I wasn't sure. It sounded like he had, maybe he had got the wood one made by Creative Craft House. And because uh, there was some a more fair bit of Creative Craft House stuff on their YouTube channel too. Yeah. Say. Yeah, I don't know what the relationship is there, but check them out. Dual Brain Games on YouTube. That was, uh, yeah, that was a good one. Okay, next. We were watching, oh, and I found this one, but I, I got like sucked into this whole like vortex of stuff because we, we find videos sometimes that are interesting. We're like, who is this? We do a little bit more research and it leads us to another video, it leads us to another video, it leads us to someone's site, which like leads us into some of the YouTubers we've watched before and they do solutions. And that was kind of what this one was. It was called, now, um, what was it called again? A rare artwork puzzle. So it's a pine puzzle. Yeah, pine puzzle. It's by uh, Christian. Poliziani, I was yeah, I think he's Italian. Italian, saying, yeah, yeah, Italian. And his company, No Way Puzzles. So he makes this puzzle. We watched the the, the one that got us into this initially was Puzzle Wanderer. Yeah, Gregory. so we watched Gregory, the Puzzle Wanderer. We watched him solve this puzzle, and this was actually Gregory's hundredth video that he had done and posted on his channel. So he was pretty pumped up about that. I think he got so excited about the puzzle, he actually gets emotional at one point, which is really awesome because. He was like so pumped up about this puzzle because it's a it's a, a limited edition. So for, I think the you know, guy only made thirty. Christian only made thirty ver versions of this puzzle. Yeah. Um, and what it is, it's a a wooden puzzle. So there's a wooden frame, and then there's pieces on the inside. And uh, each of these pieces is made out of wood, and then they're painted with oh, it's, it's a not, paint pour. Yeah, but what's the paint? Um, acrylic. Acrylic? Is it acrylic or resin? Yeah. 
You said acrylic. Okay. Yeah. But it, it's, yeah, paint on top. And it kind of is this cool, like, swirling thing. It looked really cool. It's a, it's essentially an art piece. It's a puzzle, but it's also an art piece. Because on the back, it's made to, like, hang on your wall. Gregory does that at the end of the video after he solves it. And what the puzzle is, which I had trouble telling what it was at first, because it looks pretty simple. But he takes... A, a piece, a, a square, a rectangle piece out, outside of the, the frame, takes it out, it's magnetized in, and that's what's holding the pieces in. And the pieces, it's a square, or not square piece, but they're like, uh, yeah. Rectangle shaped pieces rectangular with little bumps coming pieces. off of them. And underneath is a post, and that post has a head on it, and then that tra goes into a maze. Yeah. And so you're moving the pieces kind of through a maze, and there's a little square piece right in the middle that you have to get out. Go watch the video. I, I'm probably doing a good, not great job explaining it, but it's really cool. You'll see a bit of the process that Christian Poliziani does to make the puzzles because each of them is a unique art piece because he has to do them separately so you can get different colors in it. It sounds like Gregory actually was able to customize this one. Yeah, so I feel like maybe he had, he had his puzzle built, uh, Christian, and then he said, you know, I want this where people can pick their colors because yeah. Gregory said he was allowed to pick what colors pick what he colors, wanted. Yeah. Puzzle Guy did it as well. So we watched Puzzle Guy's video of him solving it. And he had a completely different color theme. His. Kind of the same look, but uh, different different color scheme. And the last one is probably my favorite looking oh, one of the bunch we got here. Like I would say it is high quality, even better quality than Kara Curry. And that is hard to find because I find Kara Curry is like yeah. premier top stuff. So this yeah. guy is on YouTube is called Marson. So M-A-R-S-O-N. Mm -hmm. um, the box is called a fractured box secret compartment. So it's actually a secret opening box. I think it only has like two or three specific moves to open it, but it is really cool and like really well designed. Yeah. So like Kara Curry, it's not a hard solution, but the box itself is insanely beautiful. And this one was awesome because it, it, he took a, a cube essentially and then did a jagged cut all the way around that even goes down a bit and up. A jagged cut and that, that's how your box opened up it was not a not difficult but it was really really beautifully well made and there was like three or four different compartments in there yeah to me it you looked know. like kind of like a geode when you fractured the geode how the, bit, it, yeah. how it fractures and you yep. can kind of take it so that's yep. the outside look kind of fractured like that and then you pull the lid off you get the like two or three drawers that are inside to come out and then it goes through the secret box moves. yeah there's another box in the bottom Really cool, some magnets, some, some sweet stuff. I liked it. The unfortunate part is it's not for sale anymore. I yeah. believe this guy just does his channel and he enjoys doing artwork or doing woodworking and makes boxes and puzzles for himself. And I believe these are just like one on one. So yeah, and maybe he, you can message him and see if he'll make maybe, one privately for you. But <laughs> these were crazy. I, I yeah. like them. Uh, there was three different colors. There was like a darker wood, uh, and then a medium kind of color, darkness of wood, and then a light color. We did three, three different versions. I like I said, I don't know. I couldn't find any information about a website or anything. And the guy just in his description said he just loved woodworking. This is like him showing you what he's doing. So mm -hmm. I thought that was really cool. Check him out, Marson on YouTube. That's the fractured box secret compartment. That's the end of online buzz. The end of our episode. Uh, guys, you can go check us out at puzzlemaster.ca or Lene, where can you go on uh, social? TikTok, Instagram, on Facebook. Yeah, okay. yeah. What's our Instagram? Do the new Instagram? Uh, the new Instagram is Puzzlemaster CA. Puzzlemaster. Puzzlemaster CA. Yeah, not It's our new Instagram. <laughs> the old one, Puzzlemaster. Puzzlemaster Inc. Inc. Yeah, which we got a lot of. But yeah, go check it out. Uh, lots of stuff there. Um, thank you guys for watching. Go check out Fortunate Son Puzzles on Puzzlemaster's website. And uh, yeah, go into the contest. You can win yourself uh, some puzzles on up viral other than that that's the end of our episode tune in next week for episode 121 we release episodes every thursday and uh that's when we see you so, yeah. thank you guys for watching tune in again uh, next episode and we'll see you